in my circle. To understand if it is good enough for me. Uh, again, uh, do this, and now I, I, I want to see something. I think that will take safely about 600 pounds. 600, 600 pounds? Yes. Enough? Quite safely about that. I wanted to finish this afternoon. Well, yeah. I'm yeah. just wondering if I have enough. Oh, so. I'm not now. Uh, We're really in the now, but sometimes. Well, I can't help you right away, not immediately. A balancing pool. Factory and works. I think I think the balancing pole should be Philip too, because what we've got to do is we've got yeah. to find a balancing pole for Philippe to go and find a factory where they have poles and, it, and exactly ask them to, to lend to lend you one exactly that is this. quite heavy. It's got to be about I mean, twenty feet long. This or two or, or, yeah. or bigger, but not not thin. This is the the least one, the, the two little yeah. one. Huh? This yeah. will be good, but I would like no no. This is very good. <laughs> This is very good, look the balance, look, the balance, you see? It's yeah, very yeah. good, the balancing pool must be like this. Yeah. Let's do balance. Yeah. Good. I find the size, but I want now more light. Hey. <laughs> I used to work with this before. Yeah. I do a light one, little one. I do everything, I do the chair, I do everything with this. But now I have a big one to work uh, high and so on. Yeah, yeah. an amazing adventure. Um, it was unique actually, so I, I have only a joyful recollections, uh, but I think it was totally insane. <laughs> <laughs> At the age of 23, we were not sensible young men. <laughs> Nothing about this event was sensible. It was all high adrenaline. We didn't sleep for four or five days. It was one of the more exciting things that I've done in my life. Part of the excitement, of course, was that it was illegal. But it was an illegal event that was not going to hurt anybody. It was actually going to provide a great deal of pleasure to, um, to the people of Sydney. It was about life and about the surprise of giving something uh, to wake up the city in a magnificent way.
About six months after the Sydney Harbour Bridge walk, I got a postcard from Philippe of the World Trade Centre Twin Towers. Between the two towers at the top, he'd drawn a little blue line. And on the back of the postcard, he'd written, these towers give me an idea. And you? But you know what? No, I, I do not believe in age. And I am at the moment in, in the prime of my, in my state, in the sense that I, I have now learned so much about myself, my limits, yeah. about life, about the wire, about performing, that I think I, it's the best time of my life to continue to perform. Now, when my body will stop me, you know, right now I'm pulling my body by the sleeve, and my body has no choice, but if one day my body tells me I hardly can walk on the, on the floor, I will not try to pull my body to walk on the wire. Uh, would I have uh, would I have this wisdom? I hope so. If not, my friends will have to say, Philippe, uh, you know, <laughs> stop. But at the moment, my friends, my true friends, are saying, Philippe, go on and leave your passion. So nothing has, ch has changed.